Hey guys, it's me, Miss Narain. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Today we're gonna do our first virtual lesson. As promised, I said 30 likes and I'll do an experiment for you. So today's experiment is gonna include a bottle of Sprite, a clear thing to see your grapes out of. Doesn't have to be a beaker, doesn't have to be this big, anything clear. And you're gonna need 10 grapes, all right? Green, black, red, whatever. The first thing you're gonna need to do is peel half of your grapes. So you have 10, so you're gonna peel five of them. All right, so let's go ahead. You're gonna peel with your fingers, all right? All right, so now that you have peeled your five grapes, so they're clear on the outside, no skin on them, we're gonna explain why exactly we're dealing with peeled and unpeeled grapes. The waxy covering of a grape that's originally on there is there to protect the grape in nature from rain, from snow, anything that could harm it. The waxy covering is known as a lipid, which we've talked about many times in class. A lipid is also part of a cell membrane. We're gonna see how the waxy covering or a lipid is hydrophobic and a grape without the waxy covering mimics hydrophilic. A cell membrane has both characteristics. So now we're gonna see how exactly hydrophobic and hydrophilic things interact with water. So as I stated earlier, a grape can mimic the structure of a cell membrane. So remember back in September or October, we said that a cell membrane is selectively permeable. That means certain things can cross, certain things can't cross. That's because you have the phosphate heads of the cell membrane on the outside being hydrophilic. That means it's polar, that means it loves water, meaning water can pass through. However, the interior of the cell membrane is hydrophobic, which is the opposite of hydrophilic. So it's non-polar and water hating. So once water gets through the phosphate heads, it can't get through the fatty acid tails. That's what we mean by selectively permeable. So on a grape, when you have the unpeeled grape, the unpeeled waxy skin is hydrophobic, non-polar, and hates water. A peeled grape, on the other hand, does not have that waxy covering. So as a whole, it's hydrophilic, polar, and it loves water. All right, so now let's get to the experiment. We're gonna put all 10 of our grapes, five unpeeled and five peeled, and Sprite. We're using Sprite because it's carbonated. The bubbles will allow the grape to float if it's hydrophobic. We're also using Sprite because it's clear. You would not be able to see this grape if you used Coca-Cola, for instance. So let's go ahead and start the experiment. So as you can see, our peeled grapes are all at the bottom and our unpeeled grapes are all at the top. Why do the unpeeled grapes float and the peeled grapes sink? Well, that's because the unpeeled grapes have that waxy covering as a protective barrier for water. So water can't enter and it doesn't sink the grape. You can see that they'll go down, but they'll eventually come back up when you mess with them. The peeled grapes, on the other hand, don't have that protective barrier. So water entered them through osmosis, key vocab word there, and they all sunk to the bottom. None of the bubbles were able to lift them back up because there's so much water in the grapes. So scholars, once again, this is how you can mimic cell membrane structure, hydrophobic, hydrophilic. All right, guys, there you have it, our first virtual lab demo. Very easy, made from stuff you could have at home or you can acquire from the store. Extra credit if you guys actually perform the lab at home or record it and send it to me. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy during this very weird time we're going through. Keep in contact with me via Remind. Keep doing your assignments. Most of you guys are. And I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.